Right. Make sure it's recording this time. I'm so sad. <laughs> second semester champagne but before this I lived in Iowa State and I attended Iowa State University. Um, I had a good freshman year I lived with my best friend and honestly we had no problems we like we didn't we didn't really have set rules but um, after our freshman year we were able to um, get find a new roommate so it was and the three of our close two of my closest friends so three of us in the apartment um, but yeah, um, overall rooming with friends is a really valuable lesson that I'll probably never forget. But first of all, I'll just be discussing how moving in with friends, you need to make sure you have very strict ground rules because it's really easy to take advantage of each other and your friendship. So let's just start off with things that we really didn't really set rules. Um, that kind of just gave us trouble down the road. Um, having ground rules on the, with with friends is really important. Um, I lived uh, with one of my friends previously, and it was not no problem. Obviously, we had here and there where we had to deal with either like not cleaning our our dorm room, but other than that, it was nothing that we really had to deal with that was. <coughs> a deal breaker for us. But um, all right, once we moved into the apartment, we kind of just wanted, my roommates kind of just wanted to start throwing parties because we had a really nice apartment. We had three floors, a big living room, so it was really enticing for them to throw parties. So we decided to throw a back to school party their first week in there. And the first one was all right, it wasn't too, too crazy. Um, but I kind of just started staying away because they kept inviting people that I didn't really have in contact with. I didn't really know them. So I kind of just started staying in my room for the most part. And eventually um, they kept throwing parties and each one got bigger, louder, um, more obnoxious than the last one. And this is where like I can hear literally everything through my door, even if it was closed. Um, about the third one we started getting noise complaints from uh, the people our neighbors because we had our, the way our, our apartments were set up we had like two neighbors same style three floors big of like uh, living rooms so we had one on each side we were the ones in the middle so eventually with the, the party being so loud they um they ended up calling the police so that we got a warning from the police. But after a while, um, we started getting fined. And at one point, I think I, I think it was a third party where they got fined, each of them, three, $200 for underage drinking and the noise complaints. So I luckily wasn't there that weekend, so I didn't get caught. But if I was there, I would have had to pay that two hundred dollar fine, even if I wasn't participating in that party. Um, so the, the the noise complaints kept coming from people, our neighbors down the like you could hear this party from a block down. So we got a lot of noise complaints. Excuse me. Um, and after every month, if we get up to three, we can get up to three noise complaints without getting a fine. But after that, we rack up fifty dollars per fine. So by the end of the month of our second month being in school, we had ended up paying around a hundred dollars each in just noise complaint fines. Um, and I wanted to make sure that wasn't happening because I wasn't even participating at that point. 
Um, so when I tried to confront them, they kind of just were okay with paying a hundred dollar fine and a fifty dollar fine per noise complaint because they tried to kick it down. They they made an effort to make sure they talked to the neighbors to make sure that they weren't calling the cops and trying to be really buddy buddy with them. But in the end, they still kept in those fines. So. I asked them to not throw those parties so that we don't get fined anymore, especially me for the most part, because if I wasn't getting fined, I wouldn't have a problem, but at that point, I was getting fined as well for not doing anything. But um, eventually, they, it was kind of just a two against one situation, so I couldn't really do much. So for the rest of the year, I kind of just dealt with it. But um, as the, year, the parties went on, there was more damages. There's damages that started to be done to the walls, furniture, and carpet. So I kind of just, I didn't think that was gonna be a big problem for me. So eventually I um, decided that Iowa wasn't the school for me and being in Iowa just wasn't for me. So I knew I was moving out, so I never resigned my lease while my other two roommates did. The same exact apartment, same unit, everything. So um, when I started moving out, going through the move out process, they had to, um, I had to do a walkthrough of where the people would come and look through the damages or see if anything, any damage was done. So in doing so, they saw all the chairs broken, the tables broken, um, holes in the walls, scratches on the walls, paint being uh, chipped, lots of stained carpets. So um, me being the one moving out, um, I was kind of put on the blame for that because they had to fix that bef like for the, before I left because then at that point they wouldn't be charged they, they wouldn't be able to charge for me, charge me for those damages but in the end like they didn't have to pay for it because they had time to fix whatever damage they had done whether it was cleaning the carpet or anything but in the end after all the damages that they saw um, from solely the parties it was around six hundred dollars in damages. So by correcting some errors that the company had created and trying to work out a deal with them, I ended up paying $350 out of pocket for uh, damages solely from the, the parties that they were consistently throwing. Um, overall, uh, in these few minutes, I was just able to show like why you guys were, you guys should make sure to set ground rules with your roommates especially if they're your friends, because it's really easy to um, take advantage of each other in that friendship. Um, and you also <coughs> could never know, like, if it, end up being, uh, it could end up being a lot worse than you thought, just like I was, where I had to end up paying $350 out of just damages that I was never even part of. But yeah, just make sure you set up these rules with your roommates, because like I said, it could be a lot worse than what you think in the future. Thank you.